Hollywood. Bum, da, 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 da. Hollywood. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Hooray for Hollywood. We're here on Vermont Street in one of LA's hippest areas, Los Feliz. Now this small neighborhood behind me may very well hold the coolest people to ever walk the face of the earth. <laughs> also known as the, the hipster. hipster. You're looking uh, pretty hip. You got yourself a Starbucks coffee, aviator sunglasses. Everybody calls me Black Shakespeare, so. I wouldn't consider myself a hipster. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Work at a coffee shop? What do you think about these crazy hipsters? I'm tired of the grunge look. Underdressed, looking like a schlump. I think they're dirty and I want to have sex with them. Is that an actual vintage t-shirt or did you buy that at the Gap? Uh, this I got at a resale shop. So when trying to gather content for our show, Steve wrote in, one of my boys Chris out in LA does some work with some stencils and t-shirts. You should definitely look them up when you're out there. Hey, I'm Chris. I cut stencils. I'm from LA. I go by Gigantic. We're in my home studio. I'm going to show you how to cut stencils today. So first off, you want to find your image, print it out. I chose Bat Boy. Next, you got to get some Dacto blade. The number 11 blade, which I use once in a while, and the number 16 blade for higher detail. This is going to be kind of a basic stencil. It's going to be pretty easy. It's going to take me about an hour, hour and a half to cut out. Once you have your black and white copy, the next step is cutting out all the dark spots. You're gonna to wanna to leave some for shading, but for the most part, cut out pretty much all the black. When you're doing real high detail, a lot of these lines are gonna be connected. It's all gonna be solid black. You don't wanna cut it all, otherwise your stencil's gonna fall apart. So you gotta be very careful and leave lots of connector pieces. Very important to have these, otherwise you're just gonna have a big hole. But right here, that, that's a good connector piece. Next part is carefully pulling all this out all the black parts. Stab your piece that you're gonna be taking out. Now we have the negative of the original. So, uh, Banger, what do you think of Threadheads? Oh man, I dig the Grateful Dead. No, not the Grateful Dead. It's Thread head. It's a show. It's you know, on now. Shows? Man, I went to a lot of dead shows. I really miss Jerry. Are you even listening to me? Do you know where we are? We are at the network Thread Banger, watching the show Thread Heads, and I need a little input on if you like it or not. Oh man, we did way too many drugs. Once you have your stencil finished, throw it on a t-shirt. I like to wear it out that night. You can place it anywhere you want. I like the top corner, up on the right breastplate. It's a little more creative. And I also like being close to Bat Boy. Laying down some old papers, so that way we don't have any overspray onto the shirt. Now that you have your newspaper all around the stencil, you're able to start spraying. After you've done one light coat, do one more so it's gonna be real dark. You're gonna have yourself the coolest Bat Boy shirt on the block. And one thing before we go, you're going to want to hand wash your shirts. That way the color stays in there a lot longer. Every time I sport one of my stenciled shirts, everybody's like, whoa, where'd you get that? That's really awesome. So I made it. Just made it earlier today. Chris, thanks for the lesson. And remember, if you have any ideas for the show or a cool fashion tip you want to share with everyone else, record it and send it on in. Upload button is up in that corner, I think. Maybe that one. I don't know. Figure it out. Send us something. We'll see you next week.